Hello, I'm Greg Irwin, founder of Finger Fitness, a unique exercise program for the hands. As we all know, the hand is an amazing physical tool capable of innumerable tasks. People from many lines of work, such as musicians, athletes, secretaries, dentists, surgeons, develop various hand skills through hours of repetitious practice. This finger fitness program directly addresses the physical needs of the hand by isolating and exercising normal finger hand movements, which in turn develops a higher level of coordination. Improving the hands improves the performance of the hands. The idea for finger fitness first came to me while I was working on my degree in music education at Miami University. Like all music education majors, I had to pass a piano proficiency exam, even though I was a percussion major. To help my piano playing, I started doing simple finger isolation movements. And eventually I noticed my hands responding with more dexterity. These exercises seemed to make my piano practicing much more efficient and certainly helped me pass the piano exam. This videotape is a complete overview of the finger fitness program and is divided into 10 sections. These 10 sections are warm-ups, folds, taps, bends, splits, combinations of bends and splits, opposites, shuffling, cross-throughs, and finger feats. This video moves rather quickly, so each section begins with a title graphic giving you easy access to any section you want to concentrate on via your fast forward or rewind button. A few notes before we get started. Because it is important to strengthen each and every finger in this program, I do not feel that social gestures should restrict the smooth flow of these exercises. Therefore, none of the positions you see in this video are meant to have any social meaning whatsoever. Also, one note of caution, if you already have problems with your hands or experience any pain or discomfort while doing any of these exercises, please stop and consult a physician before continuing. And last, I will be referring to the fingers as the first finger, the second finger, the third finger, and the fourth finger. The thumb will be simply referred to as the thumb. Now, let's get started with the warm-ups. Warm-ups. The warm-ups help you get in tune with your hands and help you get a better range of motion with your hands. The first thing I like to do is take one hand, take your other hand and grab it right around the thumb, move up slowly. This hand grabs here while this hand grabs here. Just bring all the way up and through. And as you come around, bring this hand up and through also. So what you're doing is each hand is massaging the other, just like this. Back and forth. Also, if it's cold out, this is a good way to warm up your hands before some type of performance. A very simple thing is just take, making a fist and then extending your hands out. This also loosens up your hands very well. And these are very simple exercises, but if you do them every day, you'll be in better touch with your hands. Also, another one, putting your hands together, relaxing one side, and pushing with the other, back and forth. Every day, back and forth. Now, the next warm-up is what I call the crossovers, where you're crossing your fingers over. What we're doing is crossing our second finger over our first and third finger over the fourth. Once you get in this position, wiggle them. This gets the inner muscles in your hand moving. Now, at first, you might not be able to go like this automatically. So just use a little bit of assistance with the other hand, just like that. This will increase your range of motion. Another good crossover 
is taking your second finger over your third finger, just like this, and then stretching out this way. With both hands. Now, at first, just go slow, go at your own pace. That's the main thing with all these exercises. Just go at your own pace, just like that. Okay, now that our hands are warmed up, let's move on to, f to the first set of exercises, the folds. Folds. One of the most natural positions our hands can assume is simply folding your hands. Put your hands together and fold them down. As you notice, my right thumb is on top. Some people may have their left thumb on top. That determines if you're right or left thumbed. Switch back and forth. All the way down. Go at your own pace, nice and slow. As with many of these exercises, I'll do them slow and then speed them up to, sh to show you what you should be working for. But at first, go slow. One of the most important points of this program is finger isolation. We're going to take the same exercise, simply do, do this one at a time. First, your first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. Now, I lead with my right finger on top. If you're left thumbed, you might feel more comfortable leading with your left finger on top. Back and forth. And with time, you should be able to develop speed. But go slow at first, all the way down. Now, let's try this two at a time. All the way down, nice and slow, making it very automatic. And that's what you should be striving eventually to work for. Let's try three at a time. These three, these three, back and forth. A variation on the folds is putting all your fingers down, now extending one at a time. Your first finger, second, third, and fourth, and then coming back up. First, go slow until it becomes more automatic. or extending one pair of fingers at a time. This is very good for finger independence. Now that we've learned how to fold your hands in various ways, let's move on to the taps. Taps. The taps are a very simple form of exercise. Simply put your hands together and tap your fingers, pulling them apart and pushing them back together. Again, though, isolation. Let's do one finger at a time. First, your first finger, second finger, third finger, and your fourth finger. Once you feel comfortable with each finger, try and go down one after the other. Now, for double taps, two at a time. These two, these two, third and fourth, and your first and fourth. This is a bit more complex when you try every other finger. And last, your triple taps. Now that you know how to tap your fingers, let's move on to the bends. Bends. Bending your fingers is a very natural motion. Put all your fingers straight up. Now bend them all straight down. Again though, isolation is the key. Let's bend one at a time. First finger, second, third, and fourth. The key is to only bend one finger and not the rest. 
Now, two at a time would look like this. Second and third. And your first and fourth. <coughs> Every other finger is a bit more difficult, but as you can see, it can be done. Now, triple bends, bend all three, leave one up. Leave up your second finger, third finger, and your fourth finger. Now that you know how to bend your fingers, let's move on to the splits. Splits. The splits are exercises where you separate your fingers. Separating your first finger, your fourth finger, between your second and third, then the outer fingers. Try going back and forth between different splits. As you can see, with time and practice, this can be done. Now that I've shown you the bends and splits, let's move on to a combination of both. Combinations of bends and splits. The combinations of bends and splits is just that. You bend one finger and split another. Bend your first and split your fourth. Try doing these simultaneously. Now bend your first finger and split your second and third. Now bend your second finger and split your fourth. Now try splitting your first. Bend your third finger and split your fourth. Now bend your third and split your first. Bending your fourth finger and splitting your first. Now split in the middle. Bend your fourth, split between your second and third. Now bend your second finger and split both out. Now try bending your third finger and splitting both out. Now let's try double bends with splits. Bend down your first and second and split your fourth. Bend down your third and fourth and split your first. Bend down your second and third and split your first. Bend down your second and third and split your fourth. Bend down your first and fourth and split between your second and third. Bend down your second and third and split your first and fourth. Bend down your second and fourth and split your first. Bend down your first and third and split your fourth. Now, triple bends, bend down your second and third, second, third, and fourth and split your first. Now bend down your first, second, and third and split your fourth. As you've noticed, the exercises are the same for each hand. Now let's move on and try some opposites. Opposites. This section uses bends and splits, but each hand is opposite to the other. With your left hand, bend down the first finger, your right hand, the second, third, and fourth. As you can see, they're opposite to each other. Now switch between the two. Try and switch simultaneously. 
Now with your left hand, bend down the second, and your right hand, bend the first, third, and fourth. Now switch between the two. Now with your left hand, bend down the third finger, and your right hand, first, second, fourth. Now switch between the two. With your left hand, bend down the fourth, and your right hand, the first, second, and third. Now switch between the two. Now for double bend opposites, your left hand bend down the first and second, your right hand the third and fourth. Now switch between the two. Go at your own pace. Now with the left hand bend down the first and fourth, and the right hand the second and third. Now switch between the two. With your left hand bend down the first and third, your right hand the second and fourth. Again, switch between the two. Now let's try some opposite splits. Your left hand, split out your first finger, your right hand the fourth finger. This almost looks like windshield wipers. Go back and forth. Now your left hand split between the second and third, and your right hand between the first and fourth. Again, go between the two. As you can see, these are opposite splits. Now let's use the bends and splits in an opposite fashion. With your left hand, bend down the first finger and split the fourth. Your right hand, bend the fourth finger and split the first. Now go back and forth. As you can see, they're opposite to each other. With your left hand, bend the second finger and split the fourth. Your right hand, bend the third finger and split the first. Now go back and forth. Now with your left hand, bend the first and second finger, split the fourth. Your right hand, bend the third and fourth finger and split the first. Now go back and forth. With your left hand, bend the second and third fingers down, split out the first and fourth. Your right hand, bend the first and fourth fingers and split your second and third. Now go back and forth. Now with your left hand, bend the second and third and split the fourth. Your right hand, second and third, split the first. I go back and forth. With your left hand, bend the first and third, and split the fourth. Your right hand, bend the second and fourth, and split the first. Now go back and forth. Now, for triple bend splits, with your left hand, bend the second, third, and fourth, and split your first. With the right hand, bend the first, second, and third, and split your fourth. Now go back and forth. This takes us through the opposites. Now we're ready for shuffling. Shuffling. Before we actually get into the shuffling exercises, I'd like to show you some pre-shuffling warm-ups. Put your hands in a closed basic position. Now, extend out one finger at a time, starting with your first fingers. Now your second fingers. Third fingers. And your fourth fingers. Now, two at a time. Your first and second fingers. Second and third. Third and fourth first and fourth. Now every other finger. Now three at a time. Now let's try them opposite to each other. With your right hand, extend your first and second finger. Your left hand, third and fourth. Again, just like the opposites, switch back and forth. Now with your right hand, put up the second and third finger, and your left hand, the first and fourth. Switch back and forth. 
Now, every other finger. Your right hand, the first and third, left hand, second and fourth. Again, switch back and forth. Now we're ready for the shuffling exercises. With one hand closed, the other hand open. Put your hands together. Now, pull your hands apart, tuck in your first finger as your other first finger comes out. Now put them back together. Follow the same procedure with all your fingers. Pull your hands apart. Again, the next finger, as it tucks, the other one comes out. And then the fourth fingers. As you can tell, now we're ready to go down the other side. And with time, you'll be able, able to develop speed. That's what I call single shuffling. Now, for double shuffling, again, your hands like this. Your right hand, put up your first and second fingers, and your left hand, the third and fourth. This is double shuffling. Bring your hands together. Touch your palms in the back. Bring them apart. Now, this time, switching both of them, similar to the opposites. Bring them back together. Then repeat. And with time, you should be able to develop speed. This is where shuffling comes from. Looks like you're actually shuffling your fingers. Now, another way to shuffle, double shuffling, hands like this, second and third fingers, then your first and fourth fingers. Bring your hands together. Again, pull them apart, switch them both, and begin to shuffle again. Now, at first, you must go very slow until it becomes more automatic. Now, this last one is a bit more advanced. With your right hand, bring your first and third fingers out, your left hand, second and fourth. Bring your hands together, separate, switch them both, and begin shuffling. Take it very slow at first until it becomes automatic. So just a quick review, the first one, the second one, and the third one. Now that you've seen shuffling, let's move on to the cross-throughs. Cross-throughs. The cross-throughs are a very unique set of exercises combining bends and splits and opposites. They're easy to show but hard to explain, but I'll do my best. What this is, is using your splits, Now, if I make them into opposites, as you recall, then I cross one through, switch them both, and bring it back. Thus, cross-throughs. Several variations here, almost unlimited variations. Cross them through here, or I can take them up here, back down, back down. Or I can have my left hand actually coming through. As you can see, it's kind of hard to explain, so you might want to slow this one down if you have such a machine. Now, let's try one more key. Bending and splitting, now opposites to each other. And this is pretty difficult and probably not for the beginner. Now with the left hand, or as you can see this is where you can start to have fun with finger fitness. You can make up your own. Or let's see this is with the left hand now, doing different patterns. Very visual exercise, just takes a lot of time and practice. And you too will be cross-throughing in no time at all. Now, for maybe the most fun part of this videotape, let's move on to finger feats. Finger feats. 
Finger fitness is fun for kids of all ages. Here are a few finger tricks to entertain your friends with. This is what I call the finger wave. It's really not very hard. What you want to do is first try one hand at a time. Start like this. Start with your index finger and very slowly bring them around. Just like that. And then speed it up just a bit. And once you have gotten it to the down position, start with your little finger and then bring them back around. Now, for a little quarter trick. First, extend the first and fourth finger. Then take a coin, a quarter in this case, make a basket down here with your other hand about a foot away, and see if you can walk it without dropping the quarter. Okay, now let's see if I can make a basket. Here we go. Just like that. Now, for good office exercise, take a pen or pencil, put your fingers on every other side, start switching one at a time. Might even get you a raise from the boss if you're pretty good. Okay. A lot of times when you're trying to perform in a videotape, it's hard to get response from the audience, get much of a hand, so here's a way to give yourself a hand. One-handed clapping. Okay, simply... Don't bend your wrist. Keep your hands straight like this. When you stop, your fingers should come forward. Just try it a little bit every day. Pretty soon. You might get a lot of strange looks, but it will loosen up your fingers. Okay, now for a couple hand faces. Put your hands like this. This is great for kids. Thumbs under like this. Extend the first two fingers. Touch them together. There you have a hand face with eyes and everything. One other hand face. Put your hands like this. Fold down third and fourth finger. Now, with your index finger, I want you to reach back and to grab your third finger. This becomes your eyeballs. <sighs> Just like that. It's been a pleasure putting this videotape together. As you can see, the control and dexterity of my hands has greatly improved from the use of this program, and I truly hope it will help you as well. Best of luck with your own finger fitness.